Certainly at times, yes, I, I'd agree. Look, I think um, summarising the game from our point of view, we wanted a fast start. We didn't get that. Uh, we linked on 17 points, you know, pretty early on. But uh, we're very pleased to get back into the game once uh, we'd got through that part. And then uh, New Zealand sides are very good in the last 10 minutes before half time, and probably the start after half time. We'd focused on that. Um, the boys did well to get back into that game, I thought. And then you know, we started the second half as we as we'd hoped, and that was to score first and uh, get within seven. Um, unfortunately after that we weren't able to exit and you put a lot of that down to the pressure New Zealand exerted on us uh, in around our 22 so well, that was disappointing to concede and, and really at that point we started to chase the game a bit um, and obviously uh, you know chasing the game the score ran away a bit towards the end. Do you have to muscle up a bit to win those collisions and get a bit more front foot? <clears throat> yeah look um, certainly I think um, Justin will talk more about it, no doubt, but you know, they got speed of ball in our 22, which all teams are after. We weren't able to do that. Um, you know, like all good New Zealand sides, uh, at the breakdown, you know, you question maybe some of the angles they came in from, but look, you know, that's that's the way it, it works on the day, and we've got to make sure that we can combat that. Um, so, you yeah, would we'll definitely be looking at those areas of the game, making sure we improve for next week. Word about your debutants, uh, Rio Dye and Sam Costello in the closing minutes? Yeah, look, I think Rio, uh, you know, Reese Priestland, first of all, the, you know, the kickoffs, restarts were on the money, gave our, our chasers a, an opportunity, and I thought Rio did very well chasing kicks and then to score that try, I think it was a fantastic try we scored there. Um, and just a shame he didn't get a double um, later on in the game, but uh, I thought he played well. Justin, what were your reflections on the game? Yeah, uh, similar to what Wayne said. Um, on your point in the 22, um, yeah, probably let them in the 22 easy. That was the frustrating thing because we know how dangerous they are close to our line. Um, they have such great ball carriers, um, as we've seen today. Um, and then when we're in there, yeah, we, we just let them come at us rather than going to meet them and obviously fronting up and missing a few tackles in there. And when for next week, uh, any bumps and bruises from today and anyone back in contention with Lee Halfpenny dropping out late? Yeah, look, we'll uh, assess everyone come Monday, but I think Tommy Rafael took a bit of a bump on the rib, so we'll just have to monitor him and see how he is. Uh, look, there'll be a lot of sore and battered uh, bodies. We'll know more tomorrow, but uh, I think Alex Cuthbert will be right for next week and hopefully one or two others, but we'll, uh, we won't, certainly won't be pressing anyone before they're ready. OK, James. Um, Wayne, when you've just had 50 points put on you, uh, it's very easy to get down about that. But in a few little moments, uh, you must be proud of that Tom Kins, Tom Williams, Oh look, there were there were a lot of good individual performances there. It's just uh, I, I think collectively as a group, you know, we needed to, as Justin said, at, at times be a little bit more physical, come off the line, meet New Zealand. And I think part of that is also, you know, where they're at in their season, where we're at in ours, and um, you know the two weeks we've had together. So, you know, having New Zealand first up is always going to be a challenge. But look, there were there were individual performances. I'm going to pull them out now, but uh, you saw the same game. But uh, certainly there were there were moments in that game as. A say to against New Zealand to, to win the scoreboard area going into half time then straight after half time that's a positive but we've got to make sure that when we do get into a game like that we need to keep it in an arm wrestle for as long as we can and to release the pressure straight after a, a, you know a, a score and that's uh, something we've got to look at and make sure we get right for next week and other games. But Justin from your perspective um, defence when it got behind you it was, it was hard work did you ever think like uh, just change the defence round, go a little bit deeper, uh, and so on and so forth. Get more depth into the defence. Um, no, obviously when you get line broken, it's one of the hardest things to try and get back on top of. Um, and they're the best at keeping the speed of ball. Um, it's tough. Um, we, we put a few things in place and didn't quite come off. Um, yeah, as, as forwards, we know we got to front up better than than we did there. And a word, perhaps for Samaya, Aaron Smith. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I mean. Um, credit goes to them as well. Um, we're not just saying it's our fault. We know that they're star players. Um, you know, Ardy's one of the best in the world, as you've seen today. Um, and we know he was a, a key threat, and unfortunately, we didn't manage to stop him uh, playing his, his game today, as we've seen. A little bit towards the end, looked like some tight legs out there for playing fast. Yeah, as you've seen, yeah, it was, it was fast out there. Um, uh, and I think the, the, the frustrating thing as well from us and players, the, the crowd didn't stop um, cheering us on. So it was a little bit disappointed that we couldn't um, obviously keep getting back into the game, especially when we're down by that many points. They were still giving us uh, the best.
best voice out there to try and get us back in the game and I think that's a bit frustrating. Ben? Justin, was there a sense of frustration over the breakdown of the conversations you're having with Halftime, it felt like you were getting picked for Latch and Farmer when they were taking the attack left the floor. Was that a sense of frustration? Um, well, there's not so much frustration. Obviously, it was something that we've seen before the game as well. We just wanted, like, my, my thing is, I know refereeing is tough. I just wanted consistency. Um, that was the main thing. If we're getting banged, I just wanted to make sure that he could see both sides exactly doing that. Um, and obviously, I was just asking for a bit of clarity. And I said, when we were latching, I said, what about when they're not latching there? They seem to be going off their feet quite a bit, um, but it was just one of those conversations that we had with Wayne, and um, yeah, it didn't quite uh, go down too well. Did you feel that you sort of got enough what you deserve from the breakdown? Obviously, we've seen teams go harder on the All Blacks this year with the breakdown Argentina. I imagine that was your thinking before the game. Do you feel that you sort of got fair? Um, it all starts obviously with fronting up, I guess. Um, that's the only way you can try and slow that ball down, and that was probably the frustrating thing. We didn't get off the line, and. Um, front up that way and then when you front up that way you can get over the ball and slow things down and have those second efforts uh, after the tackle. When, okay, Nick. When, you, when you've not been in a country for 70 years and you're always conditioned to losing, how, how much of a challenge is it to, in the, before the match to convince the players and this is, this, this is a game that they, they could win? Oh look, I think <coughs> we're certainly not conditioned to lose in this particular group because they haven't played the All Blacks for 70 years, but um, and, and the young, younger generation, it's about the here and now, to be quite honest. But look, um, we prepared, I thought, pretty well. Um, obviously, they're coming off some a lot of test matches and uh, probably a, a match hardened at test level, uh, and we'll get better as this, this autumn series goes on. We know that. Uh, if you look at the difference between, say, facing New Zealand when we faced South Africa, we had a good month together building up because our clubs have been knocked out of the club competition early. Um, so that does help the more time that you've got together and clearly New Zealand had a game last week as well which, which helps but look at the end of the day we were beat, beaten today by a, a better side uh, and in the, the, as Justin talked about the areas of the game that forwards in particular pride themselves on it's something that we'll go away and work very very hard at um, for the rest of this competition. Over there. Wayne, uh, hasn't been a vintage year for the Warlords, pretty, pretty unusual and a lot of results have seen as a bit more vulnerable than they were do you think this performance would change that perception? Look, certainly in our camp we didn't talk around the All Blacks uh, being a weakened team at all. We talked about, once they've made changes in their backroom staff, how well they were playing. You know, any side that puts 50 on Argentina and 40 on Australia, you've got to respect. And I think a lot of focus uh, that I'm seeing in, in coming out of New Zealand was on the poor performances, but not the good performances. And our players know, we know that uh, if you give New Zealand time and space, they're dangerous against any opposition. And uh, that's how it turned out today. So, no, we knew going into the game what we needed to do. We just weren't able to execute today. Okay, any more? No, we're done. Thank you very much.